And welcome to the Bloated Chef. Chef Jerome here, an actual living, breathing chef, and I'm bloated. Before we get started with today's entertaining and fabulous tutorial, please look me up on YouTube. Smash that like button. Crush that subscribe button. Very important. Share with the world. Leave a comment. Leave a hashtag. Please keep your hands inside the ride at all times. And we thank you. Oh, and we're back. Back on the big board. The large chunk of wood known as the booze board. And what do we have? Bone-in chicken. It actually had skin on, but I've peeled them off. They were shitty, crappy-looking skins. So we're just going to go ahead and roast these chickens. We got a couple kinds of cheese. Some fillers. We've got frozen vegetables. Canned soup. Red lobster biscuit mix. What the fuck is this going to be? Ladies and gentlemen... Welcome to the Savory Chicken Cobbler. That's right. Yeah, I know. It doesn't sound right, but just stay with me, okay? Now then, from here, a basic salt, pepper, fresh herbs, or even powdered herbs. I'm going to season up these chicken breasts, and quite frankly, just roast them dry and hard in the oven until they catch about 155 to 160 degrees in the center. There goes a little bit of all-purpose chicken seasoning. There goes some extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, and that's really all we need. Let's toss them around, make sure it's all very well incorporated, and on we go to a sheet tray into the oven at 375 degrees. Thank you. While those chickens are roasting, we will go ahead and add our two cups of milk. We are going to start building our cobbler mix. That's right. Here comes one packet of that Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit. As it turns out, it's a hefty two cups. So two cups of milk to two cups of Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix, along with that little garlic and herb pack that comes along with it. That's right. Canned foods, baby. We're turning it into a upscale and delicious cuisine. There goes our cream of chicken soup, one full can. Whip it around. In goes a little bit of chicken stock and a tiny bit of that avocado salsa. It's in a jar. Remember, this is all under $3 jars of shit, okay? Here goes some spicy tomato ketchup into our chicken stock and chicken soup. Here we go. Let's put this thing together. Couple kinds of cheese. We've got Irish white sharp cheddar and we've got Munster. Do I need to explain what Munster is? No, you do not. Well, thank you very much. Now our stack and mise en place is done. We've got our biscuit mix, our chicken soup and chicken stock, our shredded cheese, our frozen vegetables, and we've gone ahead and squeezed that spinach completely dry. Here comes our roasted chicken breasts. They're done. Let's go ahead and pick them. Take them off the bone. Be very careful. Make sure you get all the meat. Keep the bones. We never, ever, ever throw away bones or stems. Because why? They make the greatest stocks of all time. So be careful. Be diligent. Do I need to explain about chicken bones? No, you did not. Yeah, alrighty. Now that we have all of the chicken pulled off of the bones, we're going to sift through and make sure there's no pin bones or wing bones or anything else in there. We want some nice shards of pulled chicken for this dish. Because let me tell you something, it's all canned food, but it's all really good. And don't forget that chicken jizz. All right, first things first. Quarter cup of melted butter right into the bottom of the pan. And we're going to go ahead and shred all that chicken, that pulled chicken. We're going to lay it down on the very bottom layer. Now, according to this recipe, the two or three times I've seen it, they tell you do not mix, do not whip. Go layer by layer. So that's what we're doing. Frozen spinach, not part of it originally. 
Frozen veggies, not part of it originally. But here we go with our batter mix. That's right. And then no mixing. We're going to add our chicken stock, chicken soup, and seasoning blend right in there. Along with cheese. All the shredded cheese. There it goes. Are you kidding me? I know. It's 108 degrees outside in most states right now. I tell you what. In two months, up in the Northeast, a dish like this is going to taste great. And it's going to cost you about eight bucks to feed a fucking family of 12. All right, 35 to 40 minutes later. Look at it. There's a little bit of jiggle on top. That's just the oils and the fat. And let that sit for about 20 minutes. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we're sitting. <laughs> and now we just scoop out. Look at this. Talk about a custard. You tell me it doesn't look like a cobbler? Minus the puff pastry crust? Holy cow. This is going to be good. Let's see what the big dumb animal thinks. That's a big plate full of everything. Big spoonful of chicken and mix and custard. What's he thinking? Mm. Yeah, he's looking at the heavens already, isn't he? Oh, one more. Mostly veggies, mostly custard. What's he thinking? Oh, he's is he dancing? Oh, he's, he's hugging on himself. That gotta mean it's hearty and delicious. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Try this one. Two thumbs up. We thank you. That swing is solid. <laughs> oh, rest in peace, Pee Wee.